That's the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety's front crash of the Ford Escape. I'm Jeff Bartlett with Consumer Reports. Now let's look at this test in slow motion. Beginning with the 2005 model year, the Ford Escape was structurally modified to improve occupant protection and frontal crashes. Previously, the Escape had earned the front crash rating of only marginal. Looking closer, we can see the improved Escape absorbs much of the impact ahead of the windshield as the small SUV collides with the offset barrier at 40 miles per hour. Here, the crash test dummy's movement can be seen to be well controlled. However, the dummy's head hits the B-pillar and roof rail during rebound. Head accelerations were low and injury measurements are considered acceptable. Now here's how this model does in the side crash test. This test was done without an optional side airbag for the driver, and the results are dismal, earning the Escape a poor rating. The driver would likely suffer rib fractures and internal organ injuries. Serious brain and neck injuries are also possible. However, the rear passenger has a low risk of injury, despite a head hit to the pillar behind the door. The Insurance Institute also tested an Escape outfitted with optional head curtain airbags and front torso airbags. The results are much better. Although the driver could possibly suffer a broken pelvis, other significant injuries are unlikely. The rear passenger is well protected, and the Escape earns a good rating with the optional airbags. For complete safety information on this vehicle, subscribe to ConsumerReports.org.